Hello, welcome to the BitBoy Crypto channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure you're a subscriber to our channel so you get access to all of our videos, all of our content, my beautiful face, and also you can enter our contest. Don't forget to smash that like button for us, especially this video because we're going to try to get the news out or the word out on some scams that are very common in cryptocurrency that you're going to want to watch out for, and so are other people. So the more people that like the video, the more people will get to find out about these scams, and we got to keep the crypto community safe. All right, so these are going to be our top five common crypto scams. I'm going to talk about how you can protect yourself from each one of these scams. So coming in at number five is not necessarily really a straight up scam, but sketchy exchanges. You've got to be careful with the exchanges that you use. The biggest reason why you have to be concerned about any exchange that you're using. Now we're talking about centralized exchanges, not decentralized exchanges. So if you don't know what a decentralized exchange is, a decentralized exchange is peer to peer exchanging basically. So if you have a buy order and you want to buy a cryptocurrency, you're not buying from the exchange, you're buying from another person who holds that cryptocurrency. So decentralized exchanges are much safer than centralized exchanges. And here's the reason why. With a centralized exchange, you don't own your private key. You don't even know what your private key is. The exchange holds it. So if someone on the exchange decide they want to hack into your wallet, they could do that because they have that information. Also, we've seen a lot of these centralized exchanges get hacked. Ultimately, they have a server somewhere and someone could technically hack into there. Now, of course, they put all kinds of fail safes. And that's why when I say a sketchy exchange, Use exchanges that have a good track record. Obviously, Coinbase, it's not really an exchange, but your money is probably pretty safe on Coinbase. Obviously, Binance is the largest crypto exchange. It's probably safe on Binance. But notice I'm saying probably, because ultimately, like I said with those, you don't have the private key. So you don't have the key that unlocks your wallet. So a lot of these smaller exchanges, they're very. it's much easier for them to get hacked so how you can protect yourself from these sketchy exchanges. So first, just make sure you're not using a sketchy exchange. Use one that is reputable. And secondly, make sure you don't keep your money on exchange longer than it has to be there. If you do not have your private key, you need to get your money off of an exchange and put it into your wallet. So coming in at number four on our list of top crypto scams is paid groups. So if someone comes to you, whether it be on social media or wherever it may be, and say, hey, I've got this really incredible group. Basically, you pay money and we give you calls and you make money off of those calls. This is why someone would start one of these groups. Because they are not as good as they say that they are. That's my personal opinion. You may disagree with that, but if someone was absolutely incredible at making calls on when to buy certain cryptocurrencies, they would already have enough money that they wouldn't need to come and start some kind of pay group for you to pay them in order to get their calls. They would just make their own money. I'm going to compare this to the sports picks business. So if you gamble on sports, you can go in and you can find people who give you picks. And those guys are making a killing on making picks for people. But you know what? they're really not that good. Go look up the best ones records. If you can find the best guy out there, he might win like 55% of the time. Which, yeah, it's good if you have enough money. However, if you're a small investor, 55%, like winning 55% of the time and losing 45% is going to take you a long time to really make any kind of profit for that. And you're much better off instead of just listening to somebody just regurgitate you know, what they've heard somewhere else to give you a pick, which is what a lot of these paid groups are doing, it would be better for you to go study technical analysis because you're not going to be that much worse than they are. That's just the truth. Now, there may be a few people or a few groups out there that are successful. And if you've been in one of those, then great. Drop us a comment and let us know about it. But I promise you, there's many more failures than there are successes in the paid groups scam, in my opinion. Of course, keep in mind, all none of this is financial advice. It's all my personal opinion. So, you know, if you want to go into a paid group, have at it. Number three, pump and dump groups. Pump and dump groups are 
only made for people to make money that are running the groups. So I entered a pump and dump group one time when I was very fresh into altcoins. I didn't really know what I was doing. I found someone on Instagram and I was like, man, that's crazy. So I went and I researched the last coin that they had done a pump and dump on. And sure enough, it went up like 200%. And I was like, man, that's easy money. So I did it one time. And uh, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be doing it. I didn't know that pump and dump groups were wrong or they were scams. And so I joined the pump and dump group and they almost all use Cryptopia because Cryptopia has a chat function and you can go on there and you can really hype a coin up in the chat uh, and other people start buying it and it makes the price go up. But uh, I think also a lot of people in the chat are smart enough to know that's what's going on, but some people still fall for it. And what happens is, is that the people who are running the pump and dump group already know the coin that they're going to be pumping. And so you are their tool. You go and you pump it for them. And guess what? They've got a big holding in that cryptocurrency. And so when they sell, the market starts to plunge. And because on Cryptopia, uh, you have to have uh, you have to do limit orders. So you have to wait for someone to buy what you're trying to sell. You can't get out of it. And you end up getting stuck. And those pump and dump groups, number one, it's illegal. And so, yes, I did take part in one. Like I said, I lost money on it. And also, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to be doing it. I was very new. Uh, so it's illegal. The people running it are breaking the law. By joining it, you're breaking the law. Uh, you're also just making cryptocurrency look scammy and you're taking part in manipulation. But then thirdly, you're not going to make any money. Unless you're running a group and you're being like the scammiest of all scams, then you're not going to make money on it. So there's no reason for you to even entertain joining a pump and dump group. And right now, I feel like we got a lot of strong hands in cryptocurrency. The weak hands have kind of shaken out. But once we finally do go back to a bull market and you have friends investing in cryptocurrency, and they bring this idea up to you about they saw this pump and dump group, be honest with them and tell them it's not what they should be doing. So coming in at number two on my top crypto scams, crypto multipliers. So you get a message on Instagram or on uh, Twitter or whatever you might be using, and or you may get an email, whatever it might be, and they may say, hey, listen, if you have one Bitcoin, I can help turn that into five Bitcoins for you. All you got to do is send it to me. Don't fall for that. That, that. That's so, try not to be judgy. That's so idiotic to think that someone is just going to take crypto from you and make more money off of it and then give it back to you. Like that doesn't make any sense. However, people fall for it left and right. You got to know in cryptocurrency, like people are going to try to scam you, especially because the anonymous nature of it, once it gets into their wallet, you're not getting it back. It's not like your debit card where you can call a bank and say, oh, this person scammed me. You're just going to be out of the money. So here's a great rule to go by. I'll give you two great rules. Number one, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. That's I, not it's probably. If it sounds too good to be true, it is not true. And number two, any person that messages you through a private message or a DM on Twitter that is saying general vague things like, oh, hey, I can help you with cryptocurrency, or I see you're an investor, let's chat. They're all scams. Every single one of them. Every single one of those is a scam where someone just generally starts talking to you and promises you something or gives you some kind of idea on how they can increase your money. General rule, they're all scams. Are all? There may be some that are... Maybe people that want to get you to join a paid group or something like that that aren't necessarily a scam, but the general rule is they're all scams. Stay away from them if someone sends you a direct message and they're trying to get you to buy into something. My number one top crypto scam that people fall for unbelievably is the Twitter ETH giveaway scam. What people will do is they will get an account that looks like a verified Twitter account. Let's just say it's Vitalik Buterin. You can find it somewhere in the comments. If you scroll on any one of his tweets, you'll see someone who looks like they have the exact same username as him. And this is not limited to just the big crypto celebrities. This is also anyone on Twitter that has like over four or 5,000 followers. I don't, ha I don't have that many yet, so I'm still waiting for my ETH giveaway guy to come try to impersonate me. But they all have impersonators. They will post a response to whatever the original tweet was, and they will say, hey, we decided to do a 5,000 ETH giveaway. We're going to be giving away 5,000 ETH. 
All you have to do is send us 0.5 ETH and we'll send you 10 Ethereum back. Fits right back into that multiplier scheme, doesn't it? That's not a real thing, guys. No one is going to ask you to send them cryptocurrency to verify an account. That's not the way cryptocurrency works. Someone doesn't need you to verify the account. All they need is the address to send it to. So there's no reason for you to send that to them. And yet, people are falling for that left and right. If you go look, when, they, when one of these scammers lists their Ethereum address, go look it up on an explorer. You'll see people are sending so much cryptocurrency to these that it's unreal. And once again, we're in a cycle right now. So we're in the bear market. If you're watching this video, this is chances are this is not your first crypto video you've watched. This is not your first crypto rodeo. You've been in here for a little bit. You've probably been in since January, December, November, and you are not going to fall for this. But guess what? Once again, when the bull run comes back and your friends are getting in, they might fall for it. So make sure you let them know that this is a common scam. So those are my top five crypto scams. I see them almost every day and people are trying to take advantage of people and we don't need that in the crypto space. So if that is you that's doing the scamming, then get out of here. If it's your friends that are doing the scamming, tell them to stop. I would like to say there are no shortcuts in crypto, but apparently some people are trying to do shortcuts to gain other people's cryptocurrencies and take advantage of people. And I'll just be honest with you, it makes me very angry to think that there are people out there taking advantage of good people. And, uh, you know, it's something that we really need to stomp out in the crypto community. I think at some point, like we've talked about many times before, especially with the social media space, that eventually I don't think you'll be able to troll. I think everybody will have accounts on the blockchain and it will be verified for every uh, area of Twitter or social media, whatever it may be. But until then, just be safe out there, guys. Guard your private keys at all costs. No one's ever going to ask you for the private key. If they do, that also is a scam. But, you know, just make sure you're being safe out there. Do the smart thing. Let your friends know who are new into cryptocurrency how to avoid these scams. So until next time, this was BitBoy. Thanks for watching.